Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Buy My Shit, where you can, you guessed it, buy my shit. All of the things you're about to see here, not the mat, are actually available right now on Amazon. Fuck, eBay. They're on eBay. Links are in the description. Here we go. Now, as you notice, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh mat, so we're going to get the Yu-Gi-Oh cards out of the way first and foremost. First of all, I have this core set, the Lair of Darkness cards. You could go buy the goddamn structure deck, but why would you want to do that? You only need these cards anyways. Just use that. $15. That's half the price of three structure decks. Shit. You get a Lair of Darkness for half of that. What do you got? Dark World Dealings? Look at that. This here. It's two super rare cards, and then the one common rare card, 20 bucks. Look at that. Danger Dark World, can't play that without Dark World dealings. Better get on top of that right now. You like some Pokemans? I got Pokemans. I got sleeves for them. Look at that. What? Are, how much even is this? I don't fucking know. Pretty sure it's only like $7. Look at that, 65 sleeves, never been opened, never been used. That is so fucking beautiful. Oh my god. Seven dollars. You know what else is seven dollars? Mech Knight Purple Knight. Look at this motherfucker. Do you even know what he does? I don't. Seven dollars. Here's a Vanguard card. It's old, but it's still a goodie. Apparently, the goddamn Oracle Think Tanks are on top of their shit. And this card can just be yours for only twelve dollars. <gasps> what else you got going on here? You like two packs? I like two packs. I never listened to the rapper myself, but here's a two for you can get right fucking now. Dialga GX. It's stuck in. I can't get my gloves out. There's one. The other one came out, unfortunately. Hang on. Let me get it, just get it back in there. Bam. Full artwork. It's a bundle. Ten dollars for both. You don't want both too fucking bad. Ten dollars. What else we got? Is that all the cards? No, it's not. One more. You like dinosaurs? I know the meteors did. You can get this for $50. This is literally fucking casually competitive, yet also actually really competitive. And it's better than buying three structure decks and smushing them together. Why is that? Because you actually get actual extra deck cards that are worth some shit. And they're actually pretty fucking good. The whole thing. $50. In a deck box. In a box. Sent to you. $50. That's all the cards I got. We're going to move on to the bigger shit. Look at this. You like 3DSs? I know I do. I can't stop fucking playing it. But I had to stop playing this one because I ran it over with a truck. So I'm selling it for parts. It's got a pin. Look at that. It's got a pin. It's green. That's a green ass pin. Yoshi motherfucker. Pretty dope. It's got a sticker on it. It's taken off with a little wipe. It'll be okay. A little, 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 little spit. It'll be fine. Right? Take it apart. Refurbish it, put it on something that actually isn't broken. I don't know. I don't fucking care. $50. Here's one. I don't even know what happened to it. I'm gonna be dead ass. It just stopped working one day. Like, here's what happens. I'm gonna show you right now. Alright, you ready for this? You gotta turn the power on. Alright, you get a light. And then it starts to go. Oh, it's taking longer than usual. Well, either way, it'll start up, the screens will pop on, and the instant they pop on, it just dies again. This is new. This is new. This is, uh, nothing's happening. This is very new. I don't know what happened. Probably the battery got shot, or the electronics got shot. Something somewhere. Probably replaced something. Easy to turn around. Easy fucking money. Hundo dollars. This one was not ran over with the truck. This is very good to note. What else we got? We're going to move away from the card games and the video games, and we're going to go on to some actually cool shit. Look at this motherfucking crystal. Alright, we're going to take it out of the box. And look at this. I got gloves on, so you can already see I am taking the utmost care with these products. They are not just being handled frivolously, right? This, this is fucking beautiful, alright? You like paperweights? Do you have a nice office? Do you have fucking wind in your office and you got papers and shit flying everywhere? You can't keep your in stack with your out stack separate? Good old goddamn paperweight. Look at this thing. It's a fucking house. Alright, it's a cottage. It's got this little seahorse sticker on it still. That is amazing. You know how much these things cost without a sticker? I fucking don't. You know how much this one is? 
50 bucks. Look at that. Wrapped in fucking paper. It's got all this goddamn paperwork still. It's anything you fucking need, right? It's in the box. Put bubble wrap on it. Put it in the box. Close the shit. And mail it to you. 50 bucks. Most of all, most if not all of these things also have shipping and handling charges associated with their associated size, weight, and distance relative to me, to you, when you buy it. That goes without saying. These are all the bare minimum fucking basic bitch prices, alright? What else we got here? You like watches? I like watches. But I don't have time to watch a watch. So here's a watch that I don't want, but I want you to have. Because this is apparently a rare ass watch, alright? Limited edition, famous stars and straps. Alright? I don't know how many of these are made. It's got a little booklet. You want to flip through it? There you go. That's some fucking flip. Check this shit out. Look at that. You get it on camera. It's so good. Oh, yeah. That is some rare-ass, high-end, valuable shit, my dude. Only so many of these were made. And yet, I have one here. And you could have it here. And you know how much this cost you? Clean 300. Or best offer. I am not a stingy motherfucker. I am open to some sort of debate and some sort of haggling. I'm not going to extend this away for a fucking dollar. But, 300? Come here. Best offer. Give me, give me what you got. Buy the watch for three hundo. Don't care. You like Star Wars, motherfucker? I got Star Wars. I got Lego Star Wars. I got these as a set. You know how much they are as a set? I think thirteen dollars, fourteen dollars, fourteen dollars. Bam! You got a Luke Skywalker. You got a Yoda. That's a set. What else do I got a set? Where'd they get off to? Oh shit, man! Where'd they go? I put them somewhere. Mm. Bam! $14 for another set. Han Solo and Chewbacca. What the fuck is Han Solo gonna do without Chewbacca? This man can't fly. He didn't fly shit. Chewbacca flew the whole goddamn thing. Alright? And what's Yoda gonna do without Luke Skywalker? Who's he gonna fucking train? You gotta get them together. $14. $14. Lego is hot. Star Wars is hot. You know what else is hot? These fucking pajamas. They're hot and they're gonna keep your kid fucking warm and toasty all winter long. You're gonna be in a snowstorm, get her some fucking pajamas. Look at this shit. They got Minnie the Mouse all over them. That is adorable. What are they? Ten bucks each. And I got three of them. Alright? You wanna be fucking warm? You wanna be trendy? Get them. Ten bucks each. Now we're gonna do some weird ass shit. I'm not a big fan of dolls. But here's a doll that you can propose with your fiance to. It's so goddamn big it ain't even fit on the camera. This is a Bratz Forever Diamonds. There's an actual fucking diamonds in there. Like this is, what fucking kid needs diamonds? Yours. How much even is this you might ask? It's a clean hundo. I mean seriously look at this shit, why would fucking, why? Now, you know what? We're gonna get into some rare, obscure shit here. You remember Beanie Babies? I don't. But what I do remember is McDonald's. And McDonald's had Beanie Babies. And this one, specifically, they fucked up on. Because it was printed in like 1990-something, 1998-1997. But if you look at its fucking asshole over here, and you pull up its tag, you'll see it says... 1993 and it was printed at Oakenbrook, but they didn't even put a space in there. They couldn't even be bothered to goddamn spell check their shit. How much even is this bear? I don't fucking know, but I'm about to tell you as soon as I find it on my price chart. Two hundo. One ninety nine ninety nine. Links are in the description and everything. You like baseball? Who doesn't? Who doesn't like going to a goddamn cramped ass seating and watching some dudes knock balls around all day? Look at this shit. These three motherfuckers are up and coming. 1982? More like $200. Buy it now. <laughs> oh shit, it's not 200 Well, 
five hundred dollars four ninety nine ninety nine links are in the description but i do take offers i'm not that stingy look at this shit i mean fucking look at it it's encased in plastic that's how you know this shit is good there's no wear and tear on this card there's no fucking atmospheric barometric pressure goddamn wear and tear on this it's in plastic there's nothing getting through this it's fucking hardcore as shit, high quality baseball card, fresh out of the pack, fresh into the plastic, fresh onto your doorstep for five hundred dollars. That is amazing. And where are you where are you even gonna put all this goddamn money? Bam! I got your back, coach. Put it in. Look at this thing. You got a lady friend, you wanna give her something nice? Look at this. Coach fucking wallet holder. Oh my god. And it's so colorful. It's multicolored. It's amazing. Look at it. How much even is it? 20 bones. Nice and easy. What else we got? I'm pretty sure I'm running out of time. I gotta hurry up and get back before the boss fires me. They're gonna rip out my goddamn nuts. I do not have this much time to show you all the cool shit. In fact, I'm done. I'm out. Links are in the description. I am begging you, buy my shit. Thank you, I'm out.